Let's join this one already in progress. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? Short kick here, fielded about the 17. And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35 to make it the 40-yard line. Well, someone wasn't very happy about that game being tied up. They came right back at him with a big-time return. They want to get back out in front as fast as possible. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Robert's got it. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Throwing is Jackson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And an alley to run. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long, and the blitz does come on the move to his left. He may try and run for this. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 28. This is Ingram on first and 10. A gain of three, second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. On second down. It's Ingram. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown. Mark Ingram, 26 yards, as his guys have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now on the other sideline. start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you have it, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give him the advantage. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Terrell Owens, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They'll look to throw. He finds his man, the tight end also. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Kyler Murray with time running out as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. A very important extra point there, up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. 
And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Back to the ground, this time with Ingram. Oh, Ingram churning. He lost the football, and the Jags grab it. They find some open field here. So this thing is all going to come down to the right foot of Phil Dawson. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. So this thing is all going to come down to the right foot of Phil Dawson. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. The home crowd here absolutely loves it, as they should, getting the field goal in the closing moments and likely going to get out of here with a W. A W, celebrations all around. How about how everyone's going to leave this stadium, right? And you know something? He probably makes more money than most of the 60,000 people here, but they're all willing to buy him dinner tonight, aren't they? Oh, they don't care. He's a man of the people right now. <laughs> we got it, we got it. One last shot for Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. Nice job there getting the win. Now